The Titanic Hotel occupies what was once the heart of the largest shipyard in the world. It brings back to life the headquarters of Harland & Wolff, with its two drawing offices dating from 1886. The Titanic Foundation consulted 130 former Harland & Wolff employees who provided a unique insight into the original use of different parts of the building. This enabled the restoration of the presentation room, which had been lost over decades of internal restructuring. Notable features in the hotel include tiles from the same batch as those used on board the Titanic, traditional lath and plaster walls, and more than 500 original artworks, artefacts and photographs. This was the hub of Harland & Wolff, the greatest shipyard in the whole world at the time. It was the place where tens of thousands of men and women were employed, and this building was the centre focal point for that whole industry. And we really wanted to tell that story, but we wanted to have a new purpose for this building. And we looked at all sorts of options, potential apartments, a museum, an art gallery, but it came back time and time again that it needed to be a hotel. This area is becoming a prime tourism destination. The building could be this exciting hub as a hotel, but a hotel with a difference, a hotel with a story to tell. This building is generating wealth for the city of Belfast. It's a prime tourism location, but it's um, giving something back to the people who have such a strong connection with it. Um, I started in this building back in September 1959, which was nearly 60 years ago. Uh, and I was the last person to close the main doors, the revolving doors of the building in October 1989. I think I, I have a love relationship with this building, to be honest, uh, and to see the, the work that has been done. And it's not just refurbishment work, it's actually brought the building back to what it was in the days of Lord Perry uh, and Titanic and Olympic. Uh, absolutely phenomenal, and I think it's well deserved. The big thing for us is Titanic was one ship of 1700 and we want people to come in and realise that this was at the top of the world of ship design and the people from East Belfast all over Northern Ireland that supported this industry, they've all got their stories to tell through this building. Not all old buildings can be museums or heritage centres but they can become living, breathing buildings again and this building was on the brink and now it's a, it's a proper iconic building. The iconic term is banded about but this is iconic by definition.